Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss electric potential at a point due to a uniformly charged non-conducting solid sphere. The meaning of non-conducting solid sphere which is charged, it means that the charges are distributed throughout the sphere but they are fixed at their positions. They are not allowed to move. That's why it is non-conducting. So, we have to find the electric potential at a point outside the sphere, at the surface of the sphere and inside the sphere. So, let us do it and see how we can uh, move forward. First of all, if you want to find the density of the charge, the uniform charge density inside the sphere where the charges are distributed if the total charge is Q so it is given by the total charge divided by the volume now we are going to find potential at a point outside the sphere let this be the sphere where the charges are distributed uniformly throughout the volume of the sphere and P is the point where we are going to find the electric potential the distance of the point P from the center of the sphere is X. So the potential naturally will be given by we all have done the formula 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught then the total charge is supposed to be concentrated at the center and the distance as it is X so we have the formula 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by X. The point P is outside the sphere. Now, it can also be written as, uh, in this form in terms of the density. The density we know is given by Q by 4 by 3 pi r cube. So, the value of Q can be written as density rho into 4 by 3 pi r cube. And we put the value of Q in this. So, we get a final result here. So, this is the expression for potential at a point P outside the non-conducting solid sphere. Now next let us consider a point inside the sphere. So this is very important you need to understand it very clearly. Suppose a point P is there inside the sphere. The sphere is shown here having a total a radius given by capital R but the point P is inside the sphere at a distance x from the center. So we are going to find the potential at the point P. What we are going to do here is uh, we take the sphere having a radius x and for that we will find the potential at the point P. Then the left out portion of the sphere that is a shell having a thickness of r minus x this portion of the sphere which is left out for this we are going to find the potential at the point P. So first of all for the sphere of radius x the potential at P will be V1 and the rest of the portion the potential will be V2 and then we are going to add them. So let us see how it can be done. It's very simple for the sphere of radius x the total charge will be given by density of the charge into the volume of the sphere of radius x. So the total charge which is enclosed within this volume of radius x is given by uh, density into 4 by 3 pi x cube. Now if the value of charge is known that is Q dash so the potential naturally at the point P due to this sphere will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q dash upon X. And the value of Q dash we put here and we finally derive a relation for the potential at the point P due to the sphere of radius X. Now we are left out with the rest of the portion of the sphere having a thickness of capital R minus X. So for this portion we are going to find the potential at the point P. Let us see how it has to be done. What we are going to do here is first of all we will consider a shell of thickness dr. 
at a distance small r from the center. For this shell of thickness dr, we are going to find the potential at the point P and then we are going to integrate it and get the total potential for the thickness which is given by capital R minus x that is this left out portion of the sphere. First of all, when we consider the shell of thickness dr, for that the potential at the point P which is inside the shell we have derived the relation earlier also 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught charge this charge is the charge of the shell of thickness dr given by dq divided by the radius here is r small r so the value of dq is the charge which is there in the shell now the volume of the shell the surface area of the shell is pi r square into the thickness is dr so the volume is given by 4 pi r square d, dr so volume into the density will give you the charge which is present there in the shell so the charge present there in the shell given by dq can be written as density into the volume of the shell divided by r so when we solve it 4 4 pi cancels out and we have this relation here this is the value of the potential at the point p due to the shell of thickness dr now what we are going to do is we are going to integrate this value to get the potential due to the left out portion of the sphere so for the potential at the point p due to the left out portion of the sphere will be given by integration of this value where the variable is r so the value of r starts from this point and it extends up to this so the lower limit of r is x and the upper limit is capital r which is the radius of the sphere and if we solve it you can see here it is after integration we get r square by 2 the limits we have taken here so we are putting the values uh, for uh, first the upper limit and then the lower limit we are putting the values here so we have a value for v2 that is the potential at the point p due to the shell of thickness capital r minus x which is the left out portion here so <coughs> we have already calculated the potential at the point this to this portion which is given by v1 and the left out portion which is given by v2 now the thing which is left out is to add them so let us add them so when we add them the value of v1 is written here then the value of v2 so after adding we take the common term here and finally we get a relation here that is for v where the value of x that is the point is inside the sphere okay so i hope that this whole video is clear to you and you understand that for any point outside the sphere up to the surface of the sphere it will be given by the value which we have derived earlier so the thing is clear to you if any doubt is there you can post the doubt thank you